major difference that we're seeing you know, very, you know, very obviously between this and 2020 is, again, the dominant theme is what? Who's more pissed off? The difference is it was on Trump's watch last time. And this time, even though Harris had to get swapped in, it's on her watch. And the Fox News decision desk can now officially project that Donald Trump will become the 47th president of the United States. Black voters came through for Kamala Harris. White women voters did not. Pure Project 2025 in miniature in Florida. And that kind of extreme sort of extremist right wing fascist type government in Florida. Does that make it a more attractive place? Mm -hmm. Thinking about the people who are not a part of anybody's elite who are hurting tonight. Um, uh, there are African-American women who know a little bit about being talked down to and know a little bit about having their economic dreams crushed, who tried to dream a big dream over the past couple of months. And tonight they're trading in a lot of hope for a lot of hurt. That is Joy Reid on MSNBC freaking out about the red wave. And with commentary like that, you wonder why people are switching off from the mainstream media. I had the weirdest, weirdest dream last night. Remember that guy who used to host The Apprentice? <laughs> I dreamed we elected him president. The big story is that America woke up this morning and was like, Did I do that? This morning you finally woke up from a coma. Well, you might want to go back. What we did was the democratic equivalent of installing an above ground pool. <laughs> Even if we're lucky and it doesn't seep into our foundations, the neighbors will never look at us the same way again. We put our eight month old son to bed and I was holding him and I said to him, when you wake up tomorrow morning, we might have our first female president. And then when we came home around midnight, I uh, went into his room, uh, shook his crib until he woke up and screamed, <laughs> we have to get out of here. I watched news coverage all night last night, and it was especially interesting to watch the change in tone as the night progressed. They started out upbeat, but as the evening went on and the results came in, almost every anchor looked like a child slowly realizing that no one was showing up to his birthday party. Donald J. Trump is now president of the United States. President oh. They're losers. They're just losers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah.